Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, I've been recently asked how to make my texture packs for Brawlhalla, uh, the anime texture pack, and the non-evil bombs and non-evil brawl, brawl, non-evil brawl, brawl, all the texture packs. I haven't asked on how I went about making those. So, uh, in in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing two things at the same time. I'm going to be updating my in this t tutorial series i should say I i'm gonna break it up into a few videos uh in this tutorial series i'm going to be doing two things one i'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own texture packs and two i'm going to be updating my animated texture pack at the same time so and so for this first installment uh, i'm gonna do a things that you need to have uh, all of which being right here, I can explain what all of these do in just a second. Uh, GIMP is basically your free Photoshop. If you open it up, it'll take a minute. It's a big file. This is the part of the non-evil Brawlhalla I was working on. There you go. This car changes. You can do whatever you want. Open things. Create something new. Uh... Yeah, it's basically your. It's basically a Photoshop of free, and it is quite important for what we are going to be doing here. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is maybe the most important because you could o always use paint for this. And this is just more in depth. It is a JPEG free flash de decompiler. Unless you want to pay for one, this is the only free one I actually found that works. So what this does is it lets, lets you decompile the dot .swf files, that is what Brawlhalla is written in. Open this up. Um, hold on. Me. It's refusing to move. Here we go. So, if you look at the Brawlhalla, um, if you look at Brawlhalla uh, and it's files I'll explain what I'm doing here in the next one Steam. they're all dot s wf files which are flash files and flash files can can are basically one file but it's got like 10 it's got thousands of files stored inside of them like the animations here, let me op open one up. Open. So how so how you're gonna use this? I'll explain in more depth. It's just later on. It's just open and you find where you want to go. I'm just gonna see control V backslash. And actually, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go back over here. Where is it? I've worked in here. Just gonna copy paste and open, and you get that file. It's right here. And shapes. It's this, okay. So starting from here is the first part of where your sword falls out falls out of the sky and lands on the ground I'm pretty sure it happens in this order just a lot faster and oh my god I hate this thing uh... yeah so this is all your unarmed things, and if you, there's some things that you won't, you'll see in here that you won't see in the game, like this flash bomb. I honestly have no clue why that's in here. One second. Yeah, but there's a flash bomb in here. Uh, there's a ninja star in here for some reason, and a lot of stuff to do with a crane. Uh, honestly, I have no clue what any of this stuff is nor why it's in here nor what it means for the game so please 
give all of your questions to Reddit and the Brawlhalla support team because yeah, I'm as clueless as you. Like flash bombs, what? So yeah, that's what you're going to be going to use this for. And then the next thing you're gonna need is on your only going to need this if you want to distribute your texture pack to the public which is install creator uh this just lets you take your file and make it into an installer so people don't have to browse through all those files like i just did when they want to install your texture pack pat pat and patch maker i personally have not used this is my first time even Oh, opening up the program, but essentially what what it looks like is you'll you'll be able to uh, just be able to make patches instead of using install creator each time you want to uh, update your extra pack. Now downloads for all of these will be in the description, but I did pull up all of the download pages to show you how to get them. So GIMP, just go go just. Go go to the link in the description, or go ahead and type this in now. Gimp.org for slash downloads. So, you're in downloads. Then you just want to probably do it directly. I think BitTorrent will give Gimp some money though, like a a tenth of a penny. But hey, every tenth of a cent counts, you know. Next is your flash d flash d flash decompiler, and you're just going to go to uh, the first link. It's a uh, that yeah, and you're just going to click the this that the dot exe beside the Windows one, and then you just install it. Install the install. Creator is at clickteam.com for slash install dash creator dash two. Just come here and down and download the free version. The only difference between the purchase and the free version is that the free version has an extra page that links back to here so that they get recognized. This is a great program as far as I've seen. Uh, it's the on only one I've used. Because it's full, it's fully functional, and lets you do everything that you need to do for free. It j they just want some cr 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 credit back to them. And Patch Maker is by the same people. Clickteam.com for slash Patch Dash Maker. Same thing. I think the only difference between them is the same thing. Uh, yes, it just contains an extra page. So that that'll be it for this one. Go ahead and install all this stuff and then um, the next one will actually should actually have some working 